In the following video you will see an explanation of our Hangman project and it's a recording from a real class so you will have also questions from students and I encourage you to take a look if you like gaming, if you want to learn more about exceptions, this is a great project to get started. Today we will be building a hangman game, a console-based hangman game. Um, it's a project you've already seen what the bookstore was about. It was now a, a, a one project, right? It wasn't just a bunch of assignments. In this case, the same thing. It will be one project. It's going to be a little bit longer in size, larger. Like you will have more tests, a few more functions to write. But it's a little bit more interesting because we will be using this thing. I don't know who from, from this group who likes to, to play games, but games are basically gigantic state machines. You know, like the character is looking front, the character is now looking right, the character has, has encountered someone, you know, the, char the character has just received a shot, you know. So, it's a big state machine. For, for our games, to build games, exceptions are a really good tool to signal these changes in state. Whenever you have a change in a state, you raise an exception. You will see that exceptions will not just signal errors like this is completely bad and, and please handle this because your user makes something really bad. They might just handle a change in state. The, the, the character in the game receive a shot, now it's dead. So it wasn't nothing bad, you know, it's just you're signaling a change in state with your exception raised. And that will be basically what happens in our handman game. Before I show you the internals of this project, I will show you main.py. This code is already written and it's already working. This is seriously already working. When you, 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 you know that our projects are always like empty files, for example, game here, the one you have to implement is empty. So once you complete all these functions and all these tests, all, your, all the tests are passing, you will be able to run main.py and play this game. Main.py, you don't have to change it. It will just use these functions to make a real playable hangman game. So again, this hangman game will have different changes of, it will have different states and we will signal these changes in state with exceptions. So um, for example, um, game lost exception, you're playing hangman game, you have three attempts to guess the word that I was actually hiding, you know? And then you, you just don't guess it, you're, you have lost. So a game loss exception will be raised. You know, there will be a change in state based on those exceptions. Um, usually I like to start just with the way we play the game, you know? So it's a combination of, of let me op open up the tests too. This hangman game will have one function, this one that you do not have to change. It's already provided and working for you. Start new game. So you can see the structure of a game. Conceptually, what is a game? What does it mean to have a game? Think that you're playing hangman game with, with a sticky notes, these ones, post-it notes. And um, every time you play a new game, you create a new post-it. You, know, you create a new post-it, you, you draw the, um, the sticky guy, you draw the, the dashes for the, word, for, the, um, for the word, all that. Each one of those post-it notes will be a new game. In the same way, each new dictionary, one of these you create, will be also a new game. So this function is already built. You don't have to change it. All right? It's already done. And it will, again, just work to, game, to make a game. This function that it's already done, it's already done in terms of, of this code, but it will rely on these two functions that are, of course, incomplete. One of them is going to be get random word, get random word, this one right here. 
that you will probably need to use the random module, importing it, you know, as we saw in our previous class. And then you have this mask word that I will show you what it does in a second, the tests. Actually, let me show it to you. Well, once we have the word, so let me show you the mask word so it makes sense. Uh, 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 mask word, mask word. There you go. So mask word, it's just super simple, super simple. You pass a, a word and it will just turn it into asterisks, as simple as that. So it's hide it, hidden for, for the user. So once this function is receiving a list of words or it's using a list of words already provided, is list of words is known. We will get a random word out of that list, right? This function. And then you will be, you will be masking that word. So you are turning Python into these many asterisks. And finally, this thing is building a new game dictionary with the answer word. This is the word to guess. This is the one you want to keep hidden for the user. The mask word is what you want the user to see. Previous guesses, so every time the user is trying to guess, you will add the previous guess here. So then you will be able to use that. If I were playing hangman game and I tell you S, T, R, S, you will tell me you've tried already to guess S, so the S doesn't count. So previous guesses are also stored here. And finally, remaining misses. You have a certain number of, of guesses to play this game. If you, of course, go over this number, you will, lose, you will lose, basically. So we're keeping track of the remaining misses. Right here, we start, of course, with the number. We start in five. If you, make, um, if you, if you have miss, misses, you will be just decreasing this number. Make sense up to this point? Get around the word. Must so is that just, I mean, just because I'm trying to, halfway follow along is that is that like a while loop and an index at that point of equaling five at some point in the code um for the guess one yeah yes um okay i'm gonna show that in a second so <clears throat> get random word and mask word we've already talked talked about them we haven't covered word let me clear this one out from the road really quickly and then we're gonna work with the guess letter because it's the important one and it's actually what you were saying. And yes, there is a while loop, you know, where just keep guessing. Once the game is initialized, we have a while loop and we take guesses. So, uh, uncover word really quickly, uncover word, uncover word, uncover word. There you go, right here. Uncover word, simple. You pass the answer word, you pass the mask word, and then you pass a guess. If the user, this is a correct one. If the user cor guessed correctly, this character is actually part of this string, you will uncover the mask word. So here, there's a Y appearing in the second position. If you pass a, me uh, a character that is not part of the original string, you're just doing nothing. You know, you haven't unveiled it. Um, if you pass a uh, character that is repeated, of course, you will uncover all the characters in that position, all the characters given in this case. These uncover word has a number of abnormal situations to handle. So for example, you try to uncover a word that's empty. That's, that will raise, and this is what we mean with these tests, it's something new to you guys probably. Uncover word will, if we pass, to empty strings, it will raise an invalid word exception. So we're, in this case, we're testing that when we invoke this function, this exception is raised. Um, so in this case, this test is gonna take, I was just gonna make it really explicit because I know that the PyTest syntax, this thing can be a little bit tricky. So here, let me copy these once again. This is what we have, and this is what we have. There you go, the uncover word, um, answer word, mask word, character, there you go. So in this case, this test will pass if we do something like, if the length of answer 
is zero or the length of mask is zero, raise, what is it? Invalid word exception. So this test will pass. And here, by the way, we're not checking messages. You could put, you can put whatever message you want. Those words are invalid. Um, so this test will pass. This test will pass if we make this code happen. Uh, you, by the way, you pro, uh, probably. I wanted to make it real explicit, but you kind of already know, right? If I do answer or masked, if not answer or not mask, it's gonna be the same thing. So these, if these words were not passed, I will raise, uh, were not passed. They were passed, but they are empty. I will raise an invalid word exception. And these tests will, in this case, it will work. This code, pytest that raises, is expecting this particular call to the function to raise this word, this exception. Sorry, I'm repeating it over and over and over and over, but I want to make it really clear for you. So finally, um, not finally, but a few more from um, invalid, so uncover word, uncover word can fail because invalid word exception, right? Invalid guess letter exception, we're expecting one character, three were passed here. In this case, we have clearly an answer word that doesn't correspond with the mask word, so that's an invalid word exception too. We have two invalid word exceptions that are related to different particular states in this case. There are still an invalid word exception, but this one, they are empty. These ones, they are different in length. Make sense? We're done with a uncover word. Now let's focus in the interesting part, which is of course the guest letter one. So once the game is correctly created, you will start playing the game. And I have a few, a few test cases here, uh, 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 which are, there you go, guest letter, guest letter, which are the ones we, that we can use them to like to walk us through the process. Remember, everything starts with a game. So this is a game. It's a dictionary containing state. And you have just one test here to make it really clear. You don't have to change things. This should already work again if you make these functions pass. So this is a game, remember. So if we create a game with the Python word, we're passing just one possible word to our list of words. So randomly, if we choose randomly, of course, this, will, this one will be the one chosen. So this is pretty much what it's going to look like this particular game with five instead of three here. If we guess a letter correctly, in this case, the character Y, we will see that now game was changed and mask word reveals that Y in the second position. Remaining misses didn't change. By default, the remaining misses is five, but uh, oh, number of guesses. Um, yeah, remaining misses is the name we give it then. So we have five number of guesses, right? Five shots. This wasn't a miss. This was a hit. So remaining misses is not decreased. And finally, we've added Y to the list of previous guesses. Another kind of redundant test. Pretty much the same thing, but if we have this word which has two R characters, if we pass R, we are revealing both of them. Pretty simple, this should be already covered with the uncover word uh, function. What happens if you miss? You have the Python word and you pass the X character. Mask word, what is it? It's pretty much the same thing because the X doesn't exist in this word. Remaining misses has been decreased by one and X is in the list of previous guesses. You know, so a few more misses, things keep being decreased, remaining misses, four remaining misses, three, and you've, you've missed with X first, X is added, then you miss with Z, and both X and Z are added, right? Z is appended after the X it was the one before. You're always playing with the same game, you're just changing the original game you created. 
a few correct guesses, one after the other, you guess correctly why, why isn't cover, five remaining misses, why is in the list of previous guesses, you uncover O, same thing for all of them. If you mix them up, it's of course expected behavior, there's a hit, there's a miss, X doesn't exist, so you keep the previous word, right? The previous word was star, Y, star, 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 star. If you miss, it still star, Y, star, star, because the previous guess, correct, the correct guess is still uh, there, right? But you're just adding the one. So I think this is pretty much whatever you guys are expecting. Makes sense up to this point? I'm gonna go now to the final part. Now, when we guess a new letter, there might be a few things going on. There might be, for example, that my guess makes me win, right? So I guess the last character from this word. That change of state, me guessing, let's say that this is the last character, I guess correctly the last character, there will be a change in state, I have just won the game, and that change of state will be a signal with an exception. So let's check that test really quickly. I have a super simple word, A, 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 A. If I guess A correctly, I have just uncovered the whole word, right? All the word was uncovered. And that raised a game one exception. So the guess letter function will try to uncover this character from this game and if all the characters were, are now visible, or, or basically if, if the game is over, the user won, you will raise a game one exception. The same thing if you lose. In this case, I'm kind of forcing it. I'm just passing one attempt, but I have just one attempt. If I miss, I get a game lost exception. So this is the other exception raised. If, you, if that particular move, that particular guess makes you win the game, game one exception is gonna, raise, is gonna be raised. If that move makes you lose, a game lost exception will be raised. You know, a few more, a few more. And, whoop, whoop. these are, you can just walk them. There are, these tests are probably all redundant. But uh, we've made them really clear, so you can just follow the process here, like how the state changed from, from run to run. So, game lost, game lost, game won, there you go. So there might be another abnormal situation. You've, the game was created, the game was won, but insistent, after the game was won, you try to guess again. But this game is already done, someone won. So in that case, a game finish exception is raised. And you can do this three more times, five more times, and a thousand more times, it doesn't matter. Because every time that you try to make a move on a game that it's already either lost or won, you will receive a game finish exception. Also for the lost one. So all those things together will make our game playable. And let me go back again to our main.py. This is the, 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 the script that's making the game work if, again, all the functions are working correctly. This is user interaction. I'm asking the user for words to guess. I'm asking the user for how many attempts she wants to, to have or allow, blah, blah, blah. And I'm creating the game. Once the game is created, I just make a big while true. And I'm confident about this while true because I know that I will be making my user make guesses. And at some point, I will receive uh, an exception that will make, it, make me finish this game. So I make the user a, a, big, a big try. In between this try, I have the whole game playing, and this try is surrounded by two big exceptions. One of them is the game is won, the other one is the game is lost. Simple. If the game is won, I print this thing, 
and we're done. If the game is lost, I'm printing a message and we're done. While I'm, so let's start the game. It's with this big while true. I just print a new line. Previous mask word, I show uh, a word to the user. This is just informative. I get the user's input. I ask the user for a character. And I try to guess a character from that user. But what happened? The guess letter function is using the uncover word function at the top, uncover word. So if the user, when I'm asking for a character, gives me three characters, this exception will be raised. And I will say, your guessing is incorrect. Please do it again. You know, so I'm just, this is signaling a state or in, in my particular game. If this doesn't happen, if this code isn't, isn't raised, everything is fine. This game is correct. This is a guess. And I will just get the new math word and keep playing with that. If I'm always keeping track of the previous math word, so if the new math word is different from the previous one, that means that it was a hit. If they're the same, this will mean that it's a miss. 